Hey everybody, Jake here, and we have another unboxing today. Today, I already know what's in here. Um, it should be the Estherbrook SD. Let's go ahead and take a look, because I have no idea what color it is or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get this box opened up. Oh, some tissue paper. Very fancy. Okay, so here we go. A lot of tissue paper. Oh, okay. quite a few things here. Got a, uh, a card, which is very, very nice. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And then a pen. That is awesome looking. Hold on one moment. This looks incredible. This is like some of the coolest packaging I've ever seen. Okay, um, let me open up this card off camera real quick, just so in case there is anything in there that y'all don't need to see, y'all don't see it. This is really, really nice. Um, it says, Jake, thank you for taking the time to review our new Estherbrook SD. I really hope you enjoy writing with it. We really enjoyed creating it, Ryan. Huge shout out to Ryan, by the way, for making this possible. Massive, massive thank you, Ryan. I'm, I'm extremely excited to see what this is. I actually have an Estherbrook. Let me go ahead and bring it out real quick. So it isn't functioning because it isn't restored. There's no sack in it. But I do actually have an Estherbrook J. Um, I've shown it a few times on the channel here. So I'm interested to see how these two compare. Probably not even close because this isn't an Estherbrook J. Um, SD is actually a term in the vintage pen community. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get into this. This is super duper fancy. Oh wow. Okay. I feel like, I feel like it's Christmas almost. I don't even want to want to open this. Um, this is Estherbrook, established 1858, reborn 2018. That is a very very bold claim. So uh, let's see if let's see if that's true. Try to get in here without tearing it. Maybe I can get it out now. Maybe not. Maybe I can open it just a little bit more. Okay, I'm just going to have to open it all the way, which is, that's fine. Just really don't want to tear this packaging. It's really, really cool. Okay, so this should be what the pen arrives in for you guys if you order one. Let's uh, take a look. So we got a basic cardboard sleeve, tilts red box, obviously have the SD uh, tortoise with a medium nib and gold trim. Oh, that is fancy. That is really cool. It's like a, a fabric with Estherbrook kind of printed over it. This is really, really, really cool. Okay, let's let's take a look. I'm so excited right now. Really nice magnetic closure there. America's original reborn. So we have a little pamphlet here. It says Estherbrook, established 1858, reborn 2018, and you can find this at estherbrookpins.com. And there's some information here. Feel free to pause it and read it. And a division of Kenro. So Kenro actually recently purchased the Estherbrook Company. Um, it was purchased by a much less 
um, nice company semi recently. The reception wasn't great on that and the brand kind of dipped a little bit. So I'm really glad that Kinder bought it. Um, they're distributors for a bunch of different brands and they're a well-known company in the pin community. So I'm excited to see what they do with it. And this is their first thing from it. So let's take a look. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the pin here. This material, this is the tortoise color. This material is really, really cool. It is semi-translucent, so you can kind of see through it. See if you can kind of see. Mm -hmm. Maybe. You can definitely see the converter and things um, in there in the yellower parts. Really, really, really pretty color, though. Very nice clip. I like that a lot, actually. And Esterbrook printed in gold here. That looks very classy. Very interesting capping mechanism. I'd heard of this. It's like the cushion cap. You kind of have to push it and then twist, because if you just if you just sit here and twist it, it's not gonna do anything. You have to push in, it's like a little spring almost. And then it twists. Huh. Really, really, really nice nib on here. That looks really, really cool. These are steel nibs, by the way. But they look very, very nice. I like that a lot. It's not a short pen, I'd say it's like a medium sized pen maybe. Very, very large grip though. Um so if you like smaller grips, you might not be in love with that. But yeah, that's that's a good size. And you can see a cap seal down in there. And does it post? It does, but that is a super long, super, super long pen when posted. Let me go ahead and take a look. Yep, so it takes standard international converters. It does come with a cartridge as well, if you want to try that. I'm really impressed so far, I'm going to be honest. Um, I wasn't so sure about this pen at the price, but this is very, very nice. Not in love with the material. Um, the, not, not the material itself. The material itself is really, really cool, but the color is not my favorite. But um, maybe that'll change. I'll, I'll probably be inking this up with some, um, some brown ink. It'll be really, really nice. Let me set this down here, and in here we have maybe not more exciting than the pen, but at least as exciting as the pen is this. This is the Esterbrook MV adapter. MV stands for modern to vintage. So they include a nib with this. I think, I believe it's a random nib. And then the section, and then they include a um, spare converter. This is it says on here recommended MV adapter. A recommended converter MV adapter. So very interesting looking converter. A little bit different from anything I've seen before. Let's see if we can get this removed. Kind of. No, I have to tear it. That's fine. some sticker residue on there but we'll get that off later but yeah so basically what this allows this pen to do is take vintage Esterbrook nibs now Esterbrook was probably the most famous for their nibs because these nibs they offered at least dozens if not hundreds of different nibs and they're all interchangeable so here we have a, um, a 2556 general writing firm fine nib I don't know what's on this one, I don't remember. I didn't pay attention when I bought it, but let's see. This one is a 155. So these nibs, all you have to do is take it and you just unscrew it. And there you go. So you can see the nib and the section there. It's, or the nib and the feed, not the section. It's somewhat similar to the unscrewable nibs that we have today with the housing and all that stuff. So this is really, really cool. Um, I'm assuming this is the box that Vintage Esterbrook nibs came in. This is very interesting. Made in USA, Camden, New Jersey. Let's see. Oh, this looks a little different than mine. A little bit larger nib. 
I wonder if mine will fit actually. They look quite a bit different. Let me see if I can get this to focus up here. Yeah, so you can see them both there. I'm curious to know, they look very, very similar though, apart from the initial size. Let me go ahead and um, screw this one into the uh, adapter. Or do you not screw it in? Maybe you just... No, it has threads. It is a little tight. Okay, I just realized something. Hold on. No, that's right. Okay. Maybe because it's a new nib. Very interesting. Let's see if I can get this removed now. Yeah. So it is a little tight, but... It's not too bad. Okay, let me see on this pen. This nib will probably look a little strange on this enormous, well, comparatively enormous pen, because back then those pens were so small. Very tight fit on there. Oh, wow. That's interesting. That is very, very interesting. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill up this one. I'm, I'm going to wait and fill up this nib here with brown ink. But with this one, I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with a, uh, a purple ink, kind of for Halloween. Set all of this over to the side here. And I've got some KWZ Gummy Berry right here. a very very nice purple ink and I'm gonna give you guys a writing sample of this vintage nib because I'm super excited to see it and I imagine y'all probably are too wipe this off Get it back in the section here. Let me grab a Rodia pad. Here we go. Over to a new blank page here, and let's see how this thing writes. Pretty well, actually. That's really, really cool that I can just pull out and write with a vintage nib. It's kind of mind-blowing, to be honest. But that'll be it. I'll, I'll go ahead and end this, because this is just going to get really, really long, if not. <laughs> um, very impressed with the pen so far. I'm going to be really excited to take my time and review it and to uh, see how it performs with both the old and new nibs. So thank you very much for tuning in. Huge shout out to Ryan at Kenro. Thank you everyone else at Kenro as well. Um, thank you for allowing me to take a look at this pen and I'm really, really excited to spend some time with it. The review will be posted in the coming weeks, so please keep an eye out for that. And go ahead and check out this pen. They have it in a variety of other colors and stuff like that. It's out at all your favorite pen retailers. So go ahead and go pick one up. Thanks, guys. Bye.